Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Hey, today we're gonna look at the big boy number one of playing cards from Gemini Decks. All right, so what is the big boy deck of playing cards? Uh, this deck was designed by Tomas Pinson and it's supposed to be a very fun, unique, uh, very visually pleasing deck of cards. Uh, the big boy number one is a fully customized deck and it was completely designed and developed from the ground up. So nothing inside of this is gonna be familiar to you, it's all custom. And basically what Tomas wanted to do was he wanted to create a well-designed deck of cards that kind of looked like a toy. And although it's a fully customized deck, it was also designed with Cardus in mind. So if you notice the back design, it looks great in spreads, flourishes, and fans. The entire tuck case and deck of cards has a very art deco, but also very modern art type feel to it. It says big boy playing cards across the front. And as you can see, it's a lot of the same design that you're gonna see again in the back design. One side of the tuck case is big boy supreme quality. The other side says playing cards number one. The bottom has an ad copy about Gemini decks. And the top says poker size playing cards. You do get a custom original seal. And the tuck flap has a heart and a diamond, and then you get some uh, big Bs on the flat, tiny flaps as well. That is pretty much it for the tuck case. Let's take a look at these cards. These cards come printed from the United States Playing Card Company, and they are done on their casino grade stock. They do have a traditional cut and a modern emboss, and they are limited to 1,300 decks. And if you'd like to learn more about stock, cut, or finish, you can click the link below in the description. A lot of people always ask how the cards feel, how they handle. Uh, best thing I can do is tell you uh, how thick they are. I can measure them with a caliper and then compare them to other decks that you've probably held or owned. And so this deck in a caliper, 10 cards, comes to 2.90. 2.90 is a thinner uh, casino grade stock, okay? It's on the thinner side of. Uh, it's about the same thickness as the Denim deck from Dan and Dave, uh, the Blue Bomber deck, uh, the Snow Leopards that recently came out, uh, the Grinders and the Artifice deck. The back design is a beautiful two-way image, has a very thin white border, and then it's just all made up of these different colorful geometric shapes. With this deck, you'll get two add and signature cards, both to tell you about big boy cards and Gemini decks. Also with this deck, you'll get two original jokers, one red and one purple. The court cards are very fun and unique, and they feature 13 original big boy characters comprised of only primitive shapes. You'll also notice with this deck that there's two different suit colors. Uh, the traditional blacks are still black, but the traditional reds are now a light blue. The pips and indice cards are completely stylized. Like I said, everything in this deck has been completely redone. Uh, you got a nice, cool, uh, big, thick font over in the corner, and then you have a little indice arrow uh, underneath each one of the pips. And then the pips themselves in the center uh, are kind of like half done in that Art Deco like line work, and then the other half solid. So it makes for a really cool uh, design. All right, so that is my review of the big boy number one playing cards from Gemini Decks. As always, I want to thank Tomas Pinson for allowing me to have this deck so that I could do the review for you. And if you'd like to purchase this deck for yourself, you can visit GeminiDecks.com. Thanks. Bye.